Welcome to another edition of Credit Matters TV. I'm Ron Barone, Managing Director in the Corporate Ratings Group. Joining me today to discuss the outlook for 2013 in the capital goods sector is Sarah Wyeth, a director in the Capital Goods Group. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you. Sarah, what are some of the economic factors we look at in the capital goods sector to assess credit quality? Sure, there are three primary um, economic indicators that we look at. One is the Purchasing Managers Index, then U.S. Industrial Production, and lastly, Non-Residential Construction Spending. All of these metrics are showing, reflecting really the uncertainty in the economy. Um, industrial production has been bouncing around up 3% year over year, and we expect that to slow down a little bit in 2013. Uh, the PMI is down slightly below the 50-point benchmark that indicates contraction or expansion. But that was up. That was after two months above 50. And then non-residential construction spending is also flattening month over month, but still up 10% for the year. We expect it to slow to about 4% in 2013. Aside from those three factors, we also look at a lot of other data, including GDP of the U.S. and other countries and regions where our companies have uh, or generate revenue. So in the U.S., uh, there's been some positive um, numbers coming out, jobs reports, housing. So that informs a more, our more um, optimistic view on GDP growth. We've revised upward our forecast for 2013 to 2.3% 2 um, from the 1.8% in our prior forecast. And we've slightly brought down our odds of a recession of, US, of the U.S. economy entering a recession to about 15 to 20% from just 20%. But nevertheless, in our sector, um, what, what's impacting us is a uh, hesitancy to invest in capital amidst the larger uncertainty that, that, that companies are worried about um, a deep recession in Europe, a slowdown in China, and most importantly, the possibility of going over the fiscal, fiscal cliff in the U.S. So that's impacting our sector. So if the fiscal cliff were to be resolved, so to speak, we would expect to see a little bit more uh, spending then, uh, a little more investment? Sure, in it might take some time and it would of course depend on what that resolution yeah. is, what it looks like. I if see. it's just sort of kicking it down the line, right. then uncertainty could continue right. for... So on this data, how does this data sort of reflect it in recent performance? So recent performance is really consistent with that data in that growth is slowing. Um, for instance, the leading um, companies in our sector average, averaged about 1% um, revenue growth in the third quarter. So that's gradually slowing, but profitability is still pretty sound. Co some companies are doing some targeted restructuring, but largely their profitability is holding because of the restructuring activity that was taken in the 2009 recession. So we expect that slow growth, um, but still good profitability to hold in 2013. And how is all this reflected in credit quality and for the sector? What's our outlook? Sure. Well, we cover about 100 companies in our sector, and the outlook is largely stable. Almost 90% of our companies have mm -hmm. a stable outlook. Um, this is reflected in credit measures that are are good or within range for our expectations for their respective rating, and we expect that to continue. What One thing, though, it, that is interesting is that our rating actions this year more have been, we've had more positive, more upgrades, I should say, than downgrades. Mm -hmm. However, the outlooks are shifting. Now there are more negative outlooks than positive outlooks. 8% of our ratings have negative outlooks versus 3% with positive. So that's something interesting going into 2013. Most of those negative outlooks have been a result of financial policies, debt funded acquisitions, share buybacks, et cetera. So with the slowing economy, there's likely to be less room at the current ratings for that kind of activity. I see. Sarah, thank you very much. And thank you. And remember, credit matters.